Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an incredible day. Now today guys, I'm in the polytunnel again. And this is a part of a bit of a video vlog series of me rearranging and tidying up the polytunnel. So it means it's all ready then for the, the rest of the spring and the summer months. And also to make a lot more room, go through a lot of plants I've got extras of and giving them away and making a lot more space and rearranging plant tables and things like that. So this is the another part of that. Another lovely sunny day out there. And what I did yesterday was I rearranged all of the all the plant pots under the table that was over there. And I've kept the large plant pots under the table on the left hand side and put a lot of the smaller ones all into these crates with the saucers. So now it's a lot more organised and a lot more tidy because I'm going to be going over the next few weeks, over the spring and summer months, going to be repotting a lot of the plants and even the ones that don't need repotting, I'm going to be changing the soil just to freshen them up and things like that so it's going to be so much easier just to go straight into the box and pick out the pot sizes I need without having to rummage through them all and all the sauces. So that was yesterday's video. If you haven't seen it, do go over and watch that video. I'll put links up above on that video, so do go over. Now, what I'm going to be doing today is this table here is going to be coming out. And I'm going to be putting in another one of these plant stands here. Now, this plant stand was one I got a couple of weeks ago um, from a sort of catalogue company called Argus. A lot of you in Ireland's UK be familiar with it. They do great sort of bits and bobs for gardening. And I put all the aloes that were originally all over on the tables there onto these stands and I've made so much more room. I mean, not only is there a lot more room in between all the plants, so it means when I do pot these on, they're not going to touch each other, but there's a lot more light getting to the plants. Plus it looks a lot aesthetically pleasing. But as you can see there, this table sort of blocks that little way there. So it means I'm restricted to what I can put on the bottom. So this table's coming out and I've got another one of these plant stands that's going to be going here. So leaving a bit of space there, so more like getting into the bottom. It means I can get into the plants easier and I can fit a lot more plants onto the new plant stand there. And this is what I'm going to be putting onto the plant stand. This, these are a lot of our succulents. And some of them, as you can see, uh, they're good. They need, need a good pruning, so I'm going to be pruning a lot of them. But I'm going to be doing that over the next couple of weeks or so. But this is just, a, I want to start off just by giving everywhere a good tidy and making a lot more room first. So I can see what needs to be done. So this is what I'm going to be doing today, guys. All of this is coming off. And going on to the new plant stand I'm going to be putting up here and making a lot more room so it means all of this table here we're completely free and it means all of the cacti here gives us a lot lot more room for the cacti as you can see there's a lot of space in between the cacti because we made a lot more room this space here um, but we are going to be potting these on so it's going to be better if we've got extra space and these plants are going to be coming outside um, in the next couple of weeks once the chance of frost is off these are the bigger aloes so they're going to be getting all the fresh air outside as well so all of these table here and all of this will all be clear for expanding more cacti which is going to be great all these big giants here also going to be coming out into the yard in the next couple of two to three weeks definitely the next month once the frost has gone and um, all of these hanging baskets going to be going on the hanging basket stands as well so we're gonna have so much more space which is really exciting so enough of my rambling on I like to share what I'm doing in the polytunnel with you all and um, this is what I'm gonna be doing next and this is this is a jumble of everything on here I mean this is because I'm sorting out a lot of plants so these aren't in any order here these are all coming off this is what I'm going to be dealing with today and uh, putting them on the new plant stand. And Honzi, my wonderful fiance, is fixing the plant stand for us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's, the, he's the fixer. <laughs> I'm the panicker and he's the fixer. And if you're not familiar with my, my wonderful fiance Honzi's uh, YouTube channel, do go over and subscribe and support him. He's uh, got a lovely YouTube channel and he shares not only stuff on cacti and succulents, but also gardening other types of plants too. So, um, do go over and subscribe and he's fixing our, our plant stand uh, number two up and we're going to show you what it looks like when it's up before we put the plants the plants away <laughs> so let's get going then guys let's get to uh, put taking these off and putting the new plant stand up there you go guys that's the table all emptied here at the end and as I say, we're going to now be putting the plant stand here. And uh, I'll just show you, Hansi, oh, he's doing a great job there. 
doing all the sandbags that we have around the polytunnel there that keeps it keeps it from blowing away and these are the plant stands here and we've got the shelving over there that just the these go on here and it's pretty sturdy i have to say and um, great value from a, a catalogue company called Argus. Those of you may be familiar with it, as I say, if you're from Ireland or the UK. And um, includes both of these as well. So it's great. Perfect for using your polytunnels and greenhouses and even in plant rooms and that as well. So as I said, this table's going to be coming out now. And um, just to put all the plants that was on there temporarily on here, that's all going to be changed. So it looks a bit like a jungle. But... Um, there's going to be so much more room now so this is exciting so um this table's coming out now and let's get put in the plant stand in now Hansi, he's That's doing right. a great cool. job here he's using the um plant ties there you know the plastic plant ties to tie the two shelves together which makes it a lot more sturdier so if any wind or anything was to get in here or the the sides was to wobble it's going to stay pretty steady uh, pretty sturdy here so great little tip if you've got these these stands there woohoo there we go guys that's the plant stands up now and I'm happy to say really pleased because there's going to be so much space and look how much space there is now at the bottom there with the um i've even got room now a little bit on the right even with, with the aloes there's plenty of space this ugly monstrosity is actually a big big tank filled with water we have it tied up because this is a polytunnel and um we have the sandbags outside so we keep it really sturdy this is filled with water this is a top on it so water doesn't evaporate obviously you don't want any humidity in the polytunnel and this this means there's no way at all this polyton is ever going to blow away. It survived three hurricanes in 2017. So it's definitely going to stay pretty much. Um, this is really only a temporary thing um, me and Hans are going to get. Invest in a real big top of the range greenhouse and so, or a top of the range polytunnel in the future. Um, but for now, this polytunnel does the job and we're quite happy with it. And as I say, if it wasn't for the sandbags here, which we put all around and the big water tanks that we have going around sort of all around the bottom, it would have blown away a long time ago. <laughs> so if you have one of these polytunnels, they are great, but make sure you really secure them down. Anyway, a little bit off topic. That's the plant stands put up now. And now I'm going to start work on these succulents and I'll show you when I do the top shelf. Now when I'm going through all my succulents, it's always a great idea then use this opportunity to remove any dead leaves and things like that um, while they're giving everything a good old, good old sort out and a good chance to prune any succulents that need a good, a good pruning. Now because some of these succulents are very lanky, I'm going to give them a bit of a pruning. And obviously you want to make sure you use pruning shears or proper pruning scissors so you don't no use normal scissors so you don't cut into the... Um, the stems and cause damage and you obviously want to make sure you cut back to obviously the size you want to cut back at but you want to make sure you cut just above a node um, or a leaf segment node I should say the reason being if you just cut in the middle then um, it would just it won't necessarily kill the plant but it would just die back to ugly sort of black stems and you don't want that so in this case I'm going to keep this this is one I've cut earlier so I'm just going to keep it all up to about the same length so here as you can see there that's just above just above the leaf just with a leaf node there, so cut like that. I'm going to keep that because this I can give away then for cuttings to give to people. And the same here. So again, just turn this round. So just above, just above a node here. Probably cut that. I think possibly there. And I say all you need to do then is just remove. If you are giving them for cuttings, remove the little the little leaves at the bottom. And so bear in mind, these little leaves can also um, leave them to dry for a couple of days, pop them on top of the soil, they will root also. But then what you want to do then is leave the cut part here to dry for a few days, probably about five days. It's only a small diameter, so it shouldn't have to take too long. And then stick it into some well-drained soil, some cactus and succulent mix, and treat as a cutting, and they root very, very easy. And as I say, the little individual leaves that you remove at the bottom, um, they root also if you leave them on top of the soil after you've let them dry for a bit. And the reason why you remove the, the first few leaves at the lower part is because if you just put them in with all the leaves in, they can rot. And this is where the little nodes are here where the roots will come out. And it looks a lot, a lot tidier there. 
just prune this one right back and it looks like a load of sticks but this was the top part but as you can see it was very lanky losing a lot of leaves so I've pruned it right back that's one that's got a little new growth coming from it there but that's an example this broke off itself and that's just gone brown because I it just broke off in the middle instead of above a leaf node but here where I've cut it just just above a leaf node there it means that the new leaves will start to come out just slightly underneath there and that's going to be brush out over time in the next few weeks and these are all cuttings that I'm going to allow to dry for a few days and then pot up to um, give away to people or sell here direct from the nursery. Now there you go guys that's the first two shelves done and I'm quite pleased. Now what I've decided to do I was going to put all the succulents all on this shelf and when I say succulents just the succulents not the cacti but because it is quite the shelf is quite high up to the roof and as you can see this does when I have the door open as you can see there on a, when it's fairly windy this does sort of wobble so I didn't want any plants to get disturbed or knocked so I decided to put the small uh, shrub like growing cacti such as the camo serious the camo libivias and the little rebutias all on the top shelf here and they need maximum sun so it's a good spot for them so i've decided to put all them here and then i've got the lovely crassula rubra i have this one here because that one the compliments the the cacti really nice and it's a lovely color it goes bright lovely sort of burgundy red in sunshine so that's a lovely spot for that there then i have some of my fucarias here and um, also another little this is an ecchi just check the name of that actually i have got it laid yet it's a graptopatalum filiferum so it's like an echeveria type of um growing succulent graptopatalum and um that is a little flower bud on it's like a little miniature isn't it gorgeous and as a say so here the fucaria so some succulents on here and um also some of the crassulas as well just a bit of a variety just to add a little bit of variation but the rest have all got the small small growing cacti here and a lot of these are coming into bud at the moment so i made sure when i move them i've kept them in the same direction i was in do show this sort of flower buds forming on there little tiny as you can see little bit of red balls forming with flower buds also on here so that's really exciting to see and uh, more on there too so very good news and here I've got the succulents and I've made sure that I've still left lots of space so when I do pot them on over the next over the summer or even the next year or two I can pot them into the next pots and I've got somewhere to put them back to because if I cram them in there's space to put more in but if I did that when it comes to repotting then you're stuck where to put them so lots of space light can get all around sun comes in from both the sides still from the top from this side that side that side and also the back so these get plenty get plenty of light and I say lots of space and then I've just got the two shelves there left to do and uh, very exciting so um very 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 good Yoo that's the whole plant stand done now guys and um, I'm very pleased it looks wonderful and there's actually loads of room still at the back as you can see I've deliberately not put any too far back because I want to make sure that all of these plants get maximum light and they're going to get full light coming in here from the polytunnel and also excuse me always kids in the background and also light coming down from the top and lovely to see echeveria there coming into flowers so i've made sure the flower is free so it can carry on continuing continuing its growth and uh, some calanchoes aeniums little aeniums and um, also echeverias graptopatalums mixture of um, another anium there, crassulas, calanchoes, some more echeveras, graptopatalums and a selection of everything here and um, lovely sedum here, this coming into flower, this beauty was a gift of a cutting from a uh, wonderful friend Krina, uh, Fifi Fifi here on YouTube and it's just absolutely growing amazing there and here as well little little pots and what I might be doing with some of these succulents because a lot of them are sort of in little individual pots and they do take a lot more space like that I may probably over the, the next few weeks make a few little bowl gardens up with a few of the little odd ones here into nice little bowl garden arrangements because they look lovely like this and they also take up a lot less space too and they actually look more attractive but um, I'll see how I go a lot of them do need the soil changing if they don't need repotting and here I've got mostly the cacti on the top because these are going to get plenty of light here and um, uh, just show you here a lovely crassula there the rubra and um, some of the vucarias there little craptopatalum 
everything is doing pretty good. Everything's going to get plenty of light here as well. And I've got my um, string of pearls here from the top, which is hanging down, which is nice. So a bit of a mixture of everything, but it looks great. And now it means as well, there's here, it means I can get into the bottom here to get to all the aloes and all the plants. Now, excuse this mess here, guys. This is what I'm left with. Um, what I'm going to just be doing now, and then I'm going to finish the video, I'm going to give all this a clean up and a tidy up these are all the dead leaves because obviously i've been pruning back all the succulents so make them all tidy and removed any dead leaves and dead flower heads so it's been a busy afternoon but fun and these were the ones obviously mostly aeniums and some also tall plants at the back there because they're too tall to go underneath so i'm going to be pushing them at the back after i've given all these trays a good clean and then moving some of the other ones around and then loads more space for the cacti so i'm just going to give all this a clean and rearrange and show you what it all looks like now that's everything sort of done for today i've been all day at it <laughs> and um, as i say the plant stand with all the succulents on and the cacti top has all been completely finished now and i've just temporarily just tidied it up a little bit over here this is all going to be i'm sure it's going to be rearranged and moved again because we're going to be putting cacti over here we may keep some of the the succulents like this the taller ones at the back and some of the smaller cacti at the front not really quite sure but i just wanted to give it a bit of a tidy up for now and then we're sorting all this out over the next few days as well but at least that's done the plant stands all done nice and tidy and i wanted to share it with you guys <laughs> and um, i hope you enjoyed it and uh if you want to know more about how to grow cacti and succulents or you're new to the hobby do check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com and thank you guys for all your amazing comments and your support i cannot thank you enough and stay tuned probably the next maybe not tomorrow but the day after if i get time i'm going to start then on this back wall here this is our other little stand i've moved a few things on here some of the seedlings just temporarily and i'm going to be taking this stand out probably putting it against this side here by the door and then putting some more some more probably the succulents on there some of these these ones here the bowl gardens because they're going to look nice on there not quite sure but i might as well make space as you can see there's a lot of space on there and then after that the next few days after i'm going to be rearranging all of the cacti and the punches at the back and it's going to look super duper guys <laughs> so guys thanks so much for watching i want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power from across the emerald isle and until the next video bye